What's up, friends of the good mood? It's Manny, and welcome to a 200 leech giveaway right here. And not only that, showing you, in my opinion, one of the most powerful setups that the leech can have right now. The Pulsar is really becoming ridiculous. With the buff of the Pulsar that happened recently, somewhere within the last two, uh, one month or two months, the Pulsar is becoming such a ridiculously powerful weapon. It fires so fast has so much ammo in the drum before it gets oh, empty. I almost forgot to mention this, ladies and gentlemen. This is a giveaway, of course. That means, in order to participate, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Share the video around with all the friends you know who play War Robots. And third and lastly, write a comment with your ID and platform into the video, into the video comments below. And okay? it deals so much damage, it's absolutely insane. It locks down people so quickly, and with the drone, and suppression and freeze and all this, cr you know, crap. Let me say it like this because it happens too fast. Fast. By the way, I just noticed this guy was leeching. I should have stopped firing. Um, my bad. But yeah, with all this, actually, you know what? He's firing and leeching at a at a Fenrir with legendary pilot. See this? Then you can fire at him. If he is firing at someone with high resistance, then you can fire at him because the other guy will also not take that much damage. Right? And by the way, video with the legendary Fenrir pilot in the top right corner if I've already released it. It's insane. 20 minutes of pure combat compilation with the legendary pilot on different setups on the Fenrir. Top right corner. Check it out, guys. Alright? So, in this video here, I'm going to show you how I dominate the entire match from here with this, uh, with this Pulsar uh, Leech. The Leech is still such a monster with his high resistance on the uh, on the legendary pilot also you get faster when you use it i would not use the legendary pilot that reduces your resistance um the newer one i would use the older legendary pilot that gives you more speed because it's definitely better to have the highest possible resistance than to throw back more damage at the enemy and look how much damage these pulsars are doing how quickly they kill how instantly they apply suppression and lockdown, which hopefully gets fixed really soon. And yeah, if you like the content, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to it, uh, like, uh, write a comment, and um, if you like the content, I said, not comment, right? Yeah, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, guys. I would really appreciate having you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more videos, such as more giveaways and obviously videos. All right. So, we're still here, Overdrive is now activated, so now we're actually truly starting to do double damage. And if you think this, is ha this has been it, and I have annoyed droids enough, no, I haven't annoyed droids enough from Ion Smiles. I'm still going to be hitting him pretty hard afterwards, because he came for me with that blitz in the beginning. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just take him down a couple of more times now. <laughs> Alright, so with overdrive running, look at the damage we can do. Bop, 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 down to last stand instantly. As if it was nothing. As if it was absolutely nothing. Okay, here we have droids being back with his nightingale. Okay, I'm suppressed by another nightingale. Getting ready, firing empty the weapons. And obviously I have to wait a little while for, um, for him to land. I was suppressed by him instantly, so he's gonna land now, and that's when he's going to start dying. Alright, here we go, bup bup bup, activating resistance, taking next to no damage whatsoever. Oh, I got suppressed, he has the suppression on the weapons too. He has a suppression drone running on this too, wow dude. Seriously, you're running a suppression nightingale, and then you have suppression on the drone as well. Alright, but I got him anyways, despite all his efforts, and here comes his hawk. The last thing he's dropping in, and now he activates the ability immediately. He has also the legendary pilot, of course, because he can't be locked. Uh, but let's just wait it out and then kill him. This is his last robot now. I killed all four other robots before, and now I'm killing his last robot too. Although this time, maybe the Titan is gonna get the kill. Let's see. Yep, the Titan got the kill. Uh, but that's cool. That was uh, me helping and uh, basically destroying all, all five as robots. The only thing- no, no, wait, that's the last one. That's the last one. The, the scorpion is the last one from him. I remember now. <laughs> he just teleported and this is literally the last one he gets. Bop, 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 bop. Now the only thing left is a titan. 
Uh oh, Titan time. Oh, and behind me is a scorpion too. I'm leeching him so he knows, aha, I can't deal any damage, so he teleports back. And that's the Titan from Droids right there. Look how much damage even the Titan takes from these Pulsars. And as soon as I stop firing, he no longer takes damage, except the uh, Shockwave. It's so insane. The damage you do with these pulsars, and this is also why I thought a giveaway with the, uh, uh, with the, with the, you know, leech is still a thing that you, makes sense because this thing is still one of the most powerful robots in the game. It really is. It's incredibly powerful. It's not as powerful as the hawk right now, and especially the hawk counters the leech, and um, mm, yeah, the scorpion is also incredibly powerful, uh, but. The, the Aochun is no longer that dangerous, so the Leech is now much more prominent compared to the Aochun than the Aochun was before, right? Previously, the Aochun was in front of the of the Leech. Also, the, le the uh, legendary pilot Clive Vicious on the Blitz. Aochun and Blitz were both better than the Leech um, on the recent ranking, right? Now, with Clive Vicious having been nerfed down to 50% resistance only when he activates the ability, and the uh, Aochun's nerfs that happened, the Leech is being number two or number three again on the ranking in the game right now. Uh, after the Hawk, of course. Um, so in terms of firepower, it's all the way up there in the top-notch category. And then, of course, with its 90% resistance during the ab ability, no one can really deal any damage to you unless it's a Hawk or a Titan. So those are dangerous, of course. But other than that, you're not really having any problems at all. Look, I, have, I activate my resistance and I'm becoming next to immune to enemy firepower. And by the way, let's just appreciate for a moment um, uh, how I how I kill, almost kill the entire Loki here, even though I don't have Quantum Rider, right? Just going back a second, I have this guy aimed at, this is the same level of height, so I can just aim at him and hit him manually, lock him down and almost kill him entirely, and then kill him later when he comes by, is heavily damaged, and boom. You can do these things with Pulsa very accurately and very well if you just have something aimed at that has the same level of altitude or height and then you can take it down really quickly. So what is that? It's a Hawk. Let's get it suppressed and locked immediately. He's suppressed due to the drone because the freaking Pulsa suppresses so quickly for some reason. Alright, he lands and then dum 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 dum. Godlike. And I think he actually spawns in. Yep, there it is. He's got a Titan. I activated phase shift because I, I thought he was going to do the phase uh, the, the blast wave, but he didn't. And then he has even more robot. He still has one more. Watch it. There it is. Bam, 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 bam. Yep. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first part of the ma match. Let's jump into the next one. We did 4 million damage. Oh, 4 million only with these Pulsar Leech. That is unreal. In this video, we're also gonna see the flamethrower on the leech, so the igniters four times. Look how I obliterate that entire Aochun here. Crazy. Killing everything left and right with this 600 meter range, instantly arriving, perfectly accurate, energy shield bypassing, lockdowning super weapon of a of a it's just, it's just absolutely insane. The, this weapon is becoming single-handedly one of the most dis dangerous weapons in the entire game. Seriously. The range and all the advantages I just mentioned are just beyond crazy. Let's get the Nightingale also convinced to fly up. He does now. I'm suppressed, but I have my ability ready in 7 seconds. And I can phase shift. He's leeching me, so I can fire at him. I want to drop him down to last end, even before his ability goes down, see? Because otherwise I may not have been able to get him down to last end, he was going to retreat back. Activating ability here, having 90% resistance now. Uh, I may not survive the attack from this guy right now because my resistance is going to end eventually. Bop, 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 doing some damage, and then I think it's time, time. Yep. But we did a lot of damage, so let's jump into the flamethrower version with a Freedom Igniters and just show these guys times a good time, right? Let's show these guys a good time right here. Flamers. 
Let's go and attack the enemy base with the flamethrowers, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! By the way, guys, we have a Discord community server. Did you know that? I hope you did. Uh, because it's a massive server for War Robots pretty much only. And uh, yeah, we're having a great time there with so many people playing, finding clans and posting news, posting their stats and best matches and talking to each other. It's awesome, guys. Uh, if you haven't yet uh, joined, why have you not joined? Uh, Discord is the future of gaming, if, in case we haven't noticed that. And uh, yeah, this Discord server is amazing. We're having so much interaction with people and viewers there. Uh, it's so cool, guys. Just join us. The, the link is in the video description of all videos. It begins somewhere with GG Discord Manny something. That's the link, and you can join directly into the server with that one. You have to accept the uh, um, uh, the welcome thing on below. You need to read the welcome message, and then down below you can see it. By the way, look what we do to these guys now, okay? We have overdrive running and four maxed igniters. Take a look at this. That's a blitz robot and a bulwark at the same time. Starting to leech, 90% resistance activated. Look at this bulwark going down like instantly. Dropping this guy super quickly as well. Face shifting. And then after this, coming out of that, BAM! Gotten him. Unfortunately, of course, it wouldn't be me if I wasn't losing weapons. Like, super quickly, all my weapons. But, uh, I can still do a lot of damage to this guy here, to the Titan. Bypassing and ignoring his shield. Oh, and look, there's a Ochun. In the middle of the enemy spawn right here, and I absolutely spawn right the living heck out of them. Come on, Titan boy. Take that damage, that's right. So, do we see the stats? Yes, 3 million damage. We haven't played a, a Titan. Sorry, I'm having the hiccups now. Haven't played a Titan, only the two leeches that you have seen, and uh, 3 million damage is not bad with those. So, um, yeah. Uh, again, it's a giveaway. You know how it works, right? So, um, good luck for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for being with you guys. Awesome as always. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.